Hocus Pocus, Hocus Locus, Hocus. Hey everyone, it's Adam here. Welcome back to the vlogs. Today I'm just dying in the car with Gemma. Okay, she's driving, and we all know what that means. It means we get to our destination safe and sound every time. It's just a roller coaster on the way. What? <laughs> I don't know. I was waiting for a snarky comment. Oh, I'm focusing, so. You're gonna tune me out right now? Yeah. So today's actually the evening. I got a very productive day, but it was a lot of working. So I thought, you know what? I had these plans to go out and hang with out with Gemma. Uh, wow, the sun's horrible. I had plans to go out and hang with Gemma later today. So I just kind of skipped all the work and here we are having some fun. We are going to Five Guys, Burgers and Fries. Don't forget the fries. No, it's fair. And fries. But on Gemma's request, because we're leaving each other for... 10 days, see I don't know how long. 10 days tonight, tomorrow, but technically like tonight. Um, she's going to Colorado and I'm going to see Ryan and Evan in Montreal for 10 days. It's gonna be awesome. So. You're hanging out with Ryan and Evan for 10 days? Yeah. Oh. Surprise. I did not know that. We're going to grab food, but I don't really know. Do we have anything else planned? We were gonna go to the drive-in, which opened up today. But all the movies are playing, we've seen, because we're movie buffs, <laughs> and they're all crap, you know? So, um, no actual plans. Who knows? We'll find out. We're going to Dairy Queen or something. We're going to Five Guys. We're not going to Dairy Queen after going to Five Guys. Oh. That's that's a lot of calories. You know how many calories you're supposed to have in a day, Gemma? Mm. 2,000, that's right. You told me that. Are you recording? Now, in Gemma's 2005 Honda CRV, there is this nifty thing, which who knows what that does. <clears throat> Anyways, we bought this thing that goes from old fashioned cassettes to an aux cord. Let's test it out, shall we? What's happening? Evan, that's just happening. Oh no. It just started. What do you want to listen to? Anything you want, honey bun. Okay, if you say so. It works! That's awesome. Alright friends, here's the deal. Right now I'm vlogging in my house coat, which I haven't done in a while. You see, it's the next day. My m amazing plan of skipping all the work in the vlog and just vlogging the night failed because Gemma and I went out to Five Guys. I got her an auxiliary thingy and then we came back home and that's what happened so I just decided I'll go to bed and now we can get some more vlog in on the driveway my mom's car is there but the El Camino is the only car left today's gonna be crazy most of the action is actually gonna be in tomorrow's vlog but basically my sister her birthday is June 26th and I read in the comments somewhere shared someone shares a birthday with her so Happy birthday to everyone whose birthday is June 26th. And someone's birthday is probably today, you know? That's the crazy thing. There's 360 days in a year and like over 20,000 views on every video. So someone's got to have a birthday every single day. So happy birthday. But on the 26th is my sister's. And so her boyfriend, Denver, who lives far away, he, she, he flew in to see her. And she drove into Toronto to the airport to pick him up. So... They're gonna come back a little bit earlier than my parents who are also out. Uh, they both went out to GP Bikes where you saw my dad bought the bike, which you've still been guessing what it is. Everyone thinks it's a Honda Grom. It's not a Honda Grom. I know Honda Groms are the craziest things going right now. And anyone who knows anything about motorcycles thinks, oh yeah, Honda Grom, haha. <laughs> okay, first of all, I think the Kawasaki Z125 Pro is better. But anyways, uh, no, he didn't get a Grom. He got, he got something else. But anyway, so he's going to pick that up today with my mom. And we also have our, my dad's RV has been in the shop for like a month. Um, five minutes from GP Bikes. So my mom and my dad are driving out there. Then they have the trailer on the back of the truck. They're going to load up the bike in the trailer, go to the RV place. And my mom's going to drive back the RV. And everyone's going to come back with tons of stuff. But for now, I'm just kind of here doing my own thing. So if you guys caught the last time I fed Jones, right now he's buried down in his coconut because it's daytime. But 
Last time I fed him, it was super successful. That was Monday. Now, you should go five to seven days if you can to feed him. Uh, eight days definitely won't hurt. I have to do eight days Tuesday. Plus, the the pinky that I fed him was just a little bit too big and he still hasn't pooped. So pretty much just kind of waiting for that. And I think eight days definitely will not hurt him. So we're going to go eight days till Tuesday the 28th. I'm going to feed him again because then the 29th I am off to Montreal. I'm hanging out. Like I said, in the car with Ryan and Evan for not, not 10 days. I was a little wrong on that one. It's actually like one, two, three, four, five, six days. So almost a week with them. And then I get back. I'm taking a train back on the 5th. I'm going to feed Jones and uh, just kind of prepare myself. So I have a night here because I take the train home from Montreal here. So I'll feed Jones again. So I feed him right before I leave and right when I get back. And then I'm taking a train into Coburg. Uh, because that's where Gemma's other side of the family is. I'm staying with them and we're going to see Panic at the Disco and Weezer. So this is my snake feeding chart. Um, these these green days are, are uh, July. So you see it kind of blends into it. And then we may be going, we're leaving to the cottage either the 13th or the 14th. Not for two days, but either the 13th or the 14th and then we're leaving. So depending on when we leave, I can feed him one of these three days. But anyways, that's the chart. So next time I feed him will be the Wednesday vlog if it's Tuesday. Um, so not for a little while. But I also want to bring you in here to say that I have been holding a secret back from you guys. Now, I've actually been handling Jones every single day. With I, The first time I did it, I did it with the motorcycle gloves like four days ago. And it just, it wasn't good. He ended up, I was holding him over top of his tank. So he fell out of my fingers and landed on the bedding. So he was perfectly fine. But he did land on the bedding, which kind of sucked. And I was like, oh man, I dropped him. Reason why, I had the gloves on. Um, he was in my fingers and stuff because I was worried he'd biting for the first time, but he's never will strike at me. It's He's such a nice snake. He's never shown any signs. Um, so I feel super safe with him. And so I stopped wearing the gloves because they also smell like kangaroo leather. So I wash my hands with the same scentless soap every single time so he gets used to that scent. And then if anyone else, um, if anybody else hasn't handled him before, they use the soap I use, their hands smell the same as mine, and he should sense that's not a threat. Pretty smart. So, uh, yeah, that's what I've been holding back from you guys. I've been I've been handling Jones every single day, but I haven't been filming it because I just want to make sure it goes smoothly. I don't have to, I don't want to worry about camera work and stuff. Well, I really need to focus on him. So I may have to set up a tripod one day and just kind of handle him for you guys to see it. It's also, of course, harder to handle babies. You have to get them all t tangled in your fingers, and sometimes they don't want to get tangled in your fingers. So, but yeah, I'm getting used to it, and I know you guys say you always say you want to see more Jones. Uh, if you're new to the channel, Jones is my baby corn snake. He's crimson. He's basically a hep Miami, if you look up a Miami corn snake. Today's a Saturday. We got the Mastodon here. Every single Saturday, we post to the other channel. So, if you remember the vlog where I went and just scored a whole bunch of new Nerf blasters, slowly, one by one each week, I have been reviewing them. I know people said they wanted me to do rapid reviews. Normally when Nerf releases a uh, a new line of blasters, I'll get them all and do rapid reviews. But I didn't, I didn't have enough products for a whole week. And normally it's a week of rapid reviews, so I didn't think it was worth it. So the last two we have is the Stratobow and the Brain Saw. So those are our choices. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the Brain Saw just because it interests me more. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. Also, for everyone who saw the yesterday's moto vlog, I know a lot of you guys are giving me helpful tints, or not tints, helpful hints, or tips and tricks and stuff on riding because of course I'm new. Um, but actually since that vlog was filmed, I went out to the trails, did the snowmobile trails, found them again. I have a whole nother vlog that's arguably even better. Uh, and it's ready to go up, so I just don't want to oversaturate the channel with like tons of moto vlogs because it's not my primary thing. So maybe in a few days or a couple days, I'll post that other one and then keep going back. And it's super fun. So if you enjoyed that moto vlog, don't worry, there's another one coming. Yeah. And I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, you should upgrade your bike, get those ugly parts off it. It's funny you said that because I just ordered a whole bunch of modding bits uh, to the bike once I kind of rode some trails for two days and I kind of figured out, okay, 
This is what I need to change. I need a skid plate, uh, new bars so I can actually stand on the bike so they're not so low. Fold in mirrors so I stop breaking them. Uh, hand guards so the bars don't sink into the mud. Fender eliminator so the big plastic fender is not like flapping around. Bunch of stuff that uh, you'll see when it's all done. I ordered it all, it's all coming in. I changed the tires too. I got the Pirellis and the Dunlop D606. It's a very, very common uh, front and back tire setup for the WR. But for anyone who's interested in the motorcycles, that's, uh, that's what's on the front there. And now, for anyone that's interested in food, I'm gonna eat some cereal. For anyone who likes the motorcycle stuff, if you watch Zach Goes, I've been compared to him a lot as a nicer, uh, family friendly version of Zach Goes. I really like his stuff, but he's, of course, he's very crude. But I don't think he ever shows his face. He blurs it and all this stuff, and I'm pretty sure he's in Casey's new vlog, Casey Nice Dad's new vlog, because Zach Goes went to VidCon, and, he, and Zach somehow got into the Samsung event, which is super secret, and then Casey, someone took Casey's camera when they were walking around, and some kid I've never seen wearing a Zach Goes shirt is in it. I'm not gonna say what vlog, and I'm not gonna show you a picture, because if Zach Goes doesn't want to get exposed, I'm not gonna show a photo of him getting exposed. That'd be bad on me. But I was like, whoa, there's a guy wearing a Zach Goes shirt. That's not a famous YouTuber. Wait, it's Zach Goes. Anyways, I just thought that was pretty neat. I hit him up on Instagram with the photo, uh, the screenshot. I was like, dude, you're in Casey's vlog. We'll see what he says. <laughs> And I'm sorry if anyone watches Zach Goes and you're like, I don't know. I guess it's not very nice of me to say that he's in Casey's vlog, but he is. So I don't know how much longer this video can go on. What I do know is that it's 11.40. I still have to shower before my Nerf video. Then I gotta make the Nerf video, edit the Nerf video, post the Nerf video. And then I can get back to the next vlog, I guess. So I should probably end it here. I'm sorry this vlog was like super non-adventurous. I mean, I didn't really do much. But hey, that's the beauty of daily vlogs. Every day means that some days just are meh. But when everyone comes back, I, it should be a super fun day. I think I'm going riding with my dad. Like, oh, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna end this here. Get the work that I have to get done done. Then we can continue to have some fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed. You know what to do. You are awesome, amazing, super fantastic. Don't forget the world is your playground. So go out and have some fun. My summer's begun, uh, even if yours hasn't, or if you're in it, if it's ending, just like make the best of every day. So until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one. As always, this was Adam, signing off.